right, so we're going to do a pod review on this pepper here, and this is quite a strange one. This is actually called the Black Scorpion Pepper. I don't know why they named it that, but that's what it's called, a Black Scorpion. A lot of people are confusing this particular pepper with the Black Scorpion Tongue, and the Black Scorpion Tongue I'm actually growing, but not this year. You ain't going to see pod review this year. Next year, you'll see a pod review on the Black Scorpion Tongue. This is not the Black Scorpion Tongue. This is actually called the Black Scorpion Pepper. And as you can see, these peppers can get absolutely black and get this really nice shape. Now, this time of the year, you're not going to see as many peppers get that black. You're mostly going to see them be green like this. You see how these are green? That's mostly what you're going to see because they really need bright, full sunlight. And those peppers will turn pitch black all the way around it. So it doesn't necessarily need to be in direct sunlight fully. But as long as if part of that pepper is getting the brightest full day sunlight, the whole pepper turns black all the way around. But as soon as that sunlight disappears, the pods will eventually turn back into green pods, which is what you see here. Now, these pods were all black at one time. They turn green again because there's no more sunlight. But we do got some here that are actually ready. And as you can see here, there's some red ones here. You can also see there's some black ones down below, which were originally black when that plant first started putting them out. So now we got the red, the green, and the black all on one plant. It's quite a beautiful plant. And we have a couple of red ones, but let's pick one of the red ones first. That's it. That is the Black Scorpion. At least that was the name that was on this plant when I got the seeds. I don't know if that is the true name of this pepper variety. But I know that was the name of the pepper when I got them. Let's give you a better look at this. And I'll give you better images of the black ones. I had taken some earlier in the, in the season. So you'll be able to see some of what they look like fully black. But that's it. That's the black scorpion pepper. And uh, again, I don't know anything about this pepper. I just know this is what it is. This is what comes out of it. And you will see these online in different places. The same exact pepper, but under different names. Not sure why that is. I just know that um, it's called the Black Scorpion Pepper. So at least that's the name. I believe it's the correct name anyway. That's how I received the seeds. Maybe these seeds were distributed as another name and nobody knows what to call it. So they're getting all these names. On this channel, we're officially going to refer to it as the Black Scorpion Pepper. Not the Black Scorpion Tongue. Again, you'll see a pod reviews for the Black Scorpion Tongue at the end of the year. But these peppers, if I'm not mistaken, are generally not too hot. Whereas the black scorpion tongue, yeah, it's a very hot pepper. Very, very hot. That's close to a million. This one, you'd be lucky if you break a thousand. So anyway, let's uh, turn you around and give you a go. All right, guys, we're doing another pod review today. It's going to be on this pepper right here. And this is called the black scorpion, or at least that's what I think it is. I don't know for sure. It might be uh, something else. But I got the seeds under Black Scorpion. Now, please don't confuse this pepper with the Black Scorpion Tongue. That's a completely different pepper, and I am growing that pepper. But this is a different variety of pepper, and it is sold as a Black Scorpion. Why is it sold as a Black Scorpion? I have no idea. You'll see this under a couple of different names, but the seeds I specifically got it for was the Black Scorpion. All right, so that's it. That's what it looks like. Nice and red. It looks like a tiny little miniature bell. Not sure how well you can see this. You see the bottom looks really cool. Really nice. And uh, let's give it a go. Well, it has a very nice flavor. It was a little bit of a soap flavor in it. That's it, by the way. A bit most of it off. It has a little bit of a soap flavor in it. But again, that soap flavor is directly associated with the capsaicin itself. So it does have some capsaicin. The heat is building. Let's let it build and see what it comes up to. Pretty sure it's going to be a hot one. Now, I've eaten these in the black and green stage. And there's barely any heat on them, it seems like, when they're in that stage. It doesn't seem like they get very hot until 
they turn red like this and now the heat is building it's not very hot right now if I was to give this particular one a Scoville I would say the Scoville is probably somewhere around 2500 but can potentially go up to say five or possibly even 10,000 Scovilles I wouldn't even go that high this particular one is probably somewhere around 2500 Scovilles it's not bad it's an easy heat it's a little it's a combination of a mix between a stingy type of burn and a glowing burn so it's kind of in between it's mainly just burning the whole end of my tongue top sides tip and underneath it just that whole end of the tongue is kind of burning but not real bad it's manageable if you can eat a cayenne pepper you could easily eat this uh, a little bit of a tickle on the back of the throat a little bit warm going down not bad and a tiny bit on the lips mostly in the corners of the lips I guess because you know I'm chewing it up and it's kind of getting around the corners but that's really it I mean it's not really that that hot again it's a combination of between like a stingy type of burn and a warm slow kind of glowing burns kind of in between now as far as the taste goes it's not in the bell pepper range it's not in the habanero range definitely not a bacadam but it's going more towards the cayenne types of flavors in that range not much of a fruitiness though there was a little bit of sweetness on that one and it was a little on the tangy side the thing about this pepper is when i first started eating it chewing it up it started to exhibit a soapy flavor in the beginning so it did have a pretty good amount of soapy flavor not real good but it was there and uh that was pretty much dominant when it first came in but the aftertaste that came in afterwards uh, is more going into like a cayenne type of flavor or into that flavor range of things not saying it tastes like cayenne i'm saying it go it's going into that range of flavors the way that profile of a cayenne flavor tastes and the way it affects your tongue it's kind of going into that direction but it's a nice pepper again i don't know anything about it that's how i got the seeds it's a, it's a pretty heavy producer if you go to sting outside you'll probably get 30 or more peppers off a plant probably more than that if you can uh, get it started early and have it start producing peppers early just pick all it first the first round of pods that are on there green or not just pick them off of there and then let the plant really ramp up after that because it'll throw out a ton of flowers after you do that and you'll double or even triple your pepper load that you would have got if you didn't do that so remove all your first peppers that come off your plant in the beginning of the season that way in the end of the year it really ramps up so again not much more to say about the uh, black scorpion not the black scorpion tongue but not much more to say about it other than uh it's a good pepper give it a grow it's very ornamental you grow this thing outdoors it's quite beautiful and uh i will have seeds available at the end of the year on my website and you can pick them up there don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one take care